admire the, uh, the architecture and also look around, you know, some great things to see from this bridge. Well, you'll see the Tower of London ahead of us on the left. The sea is about 40 miles to our right and the docks of London were just down to our left. So there's the Tower of London. Uh, the uh, bullet shaped building is the Gherkin. The one that gets wider at the top, that is the Walkie Talkie building and at the top of that is Sky Garden. You can go up Sky Garden for free but you do have to book it online usually a few days uh, ahead. Okay, so the middle section we're coming to now, when we go past this tower, if you look up, you'll see some walkways with a glass floor, and these bits of road we're just about to come onto, this is where it lifts. So this bit of road we're just coming onto now lifts straight up vertically, and the other one lifts up the other side. Here's the gap in the middle, feel a little bump just now. There we are, we're, we're on the uh, other side of the opening section. And now we're leaving that. So wonderful, wonderful piece of engineering. Tower of London here on the left, very, very old. Uh, the White Tower, the tallest part in the middle, built by William the Conqueror in 1066. The fortifications were added to by other kings uh, over the next uh, few hundred years. And by about 1330, it was pretty much finished to what we see today. If you do want to go in the Tower of London, I, I highly recommend it. It's one of, the, one of the best buildings to visit in London. Give yourself time though, you need four hours at least.